Hi guys, so today I'm going to do an empties video because we are still decorating the house and LJ doesn't like the fact that I have a few empty products just lying around waiting to be talked about so I'm going to start with the Ultimate Blends Garnier Shampoo this is the one for dry dull hair with argan and camellia oils I don't actually have dry dull hair but LJ went out and bought this for me a few months ago this actually lasted me about two months which is really good for shampoo because they never ever ever last me like more than a few weeks and this one actually lasted two months with me and him using it so that was really good and it made my hair like feel so soft and so shiny and I haven't had a shampoo that I have loved this much for quite a while now so we have actually repurchased this and I'm actually halfway through the second bottle because that's how long ago that it was I used it and we also got the conditioner to go with this because originally we only had the shampoo I think, I'm not sure if it's still on offer at Boots, but when we got them, they were actually on offer at Boots. So I think we got either buy one, get one half price, or buy one, get one free, or something along those lines. So it was actually a really good deal. Um, they do loads of different versions of this, but this was the one that LJ got, so we have tried this one. Although I do actually want to try the one for non-frizzy hair, I think it is. I'm not sure what colour it is, though, but I really want to try that one. But yeah, this is amazing. I think we paid something like two eighty nine or something like that for it, but I think it was on offer when we actually got this one. So I'm not sure, but yeah, I absolutely love that product so much. I cannot talk, like, I cannot say how much I love it. And um, the second product I've actually just run out of, and that is the B Dot Live by Selnik. I was actually sent this to try, so I didn't pay for this at all. However, I am going to be doing a review of this because this is literally amazing I love it so much and I will be doing a proper review on my blog and on this channel about this product so keep an eye out for that I'm not sure about the price but I will find out and let you know in that video as you can see it does actually say tester so I didn't try this but it is amazing and I do love this so much and um, I also have the professional by benefit I'm not going to be repurchasing this this is actually the second tube that I've gone through but um, we just bought the Smashbox primer for oily skins for like £25 I think it was. This is about 18 I think. Um, but we got this when it was on our fit and benefit as well. So I didn't quite pay £18 for it. But I, I like this product but I'm not in love with it. So when I saw the Smashbox primer in the boots not near mine like a further one away because the one the boots by mine doesn't actually have any smashbox stuff so this is why i've been buying the benefit one but we saw the smashbox and there was a bit of an offer on that in boots so we went for that one so i haven't actually repurchased this um it is good i think loads of people are in love with it but it's i, I don't know it's not really a product that I love I can live without it I don't think it minimizes pores it kind of blurs them a little it doesn't minimize them and it doesn't keep I know it doesn't promise to but it doesn't actually keep my skin from going oily during the day which is kind of what I look for in a primer so the fact that this doesn't do it kind of makes me not love it but it, it does live give a really really smooth feel to the skin and makeup goes on amazingly I just I'm not sure whether I will be purchasing this again. We'll see how the Smashbox one goes. Um, Soap and Glory Thick and Fast Mascara. I actually ran out of this a little while ago. And I've been using the number 7 High Definition Mascara. And then the Benefit Bad Gal Lash since then. But they were only sample sizes. So yeah. Um, this mascara, again, I'm not in love with it. I don't think it's the best mascara I've ever tried because I followed it on with the number 7 high definition mascara which is the best mascara I've tried I think it kind of reduced my likeness for this one and I'll show you the brush the brush just looks like that so it just looks like a normal brush Um, yeah it doesn't it says it gives super volume mascara but I didn't notice any difference in volume or thickness or anything like that I can't remember how much I paid for this but I will find out and let you guys know but I don't think I'll be repurchasing this the next thing is another soap and glory product and it's the archery brow 
tint and position shaping pencil in brownie points you actually get a pen at one end and a little crayon at the other which has obviously run out the only thing I will say about this is the pen actually ran out a lot quicker than what the crayon did which I didn't like because it's the pen that gives you the most natural finish but then the crayon you just meant to outline your eyebrow and then you fill it in with the pen part of it but the pen actually ran out about a month before the crayon did so I was not too impressed with that Um, I again can't remember how much this is but I will let you guys know and I won't be purchasing this again I think I'm using the Revlon or Rimmel pencil at the minute which is a lot 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 better than what this one is Um, next one is the number 7 beautifully matte foundation in Coleco this is the second bottle that I've run out of. The first bottle actually stopped pumping when I got to about there. So I thought that was like a, a normal thing for number 7 products. But apparently not. Apparently it does actually finish all the way to the top. Um, I do love this foundation. I have actually been trying the Chanel Perfection Lumiere foundation I think I've got in number 20. But because of the colder weather and the fact that I don't have a tan because that was... LG actually bought me that one and it's a slight, like the Chanel one, and it's slightly darker than my skin tone right now so I'm going to use it when I'm on holiday and when I come back from the holiday and it's a better foundation for the hot summer months because it is like a, a lighter cover and that's what I wanted for the summer. This has got a, a more full coverage and I've actually got this one on today because of the fact that it's cold outside and I have a few blemishes and stuff because I've changed up my skin routine which I will do a video on but because I've changed up my skin routine my skin's been coming out in a few spots so I have been using this recently the, the, the new bottle because we actually got buy one get one free or three for two or something so I already had another bottle of this <clears throat> I think <coughs> sorry I'm losing my voice I think I've got, I think this was about £20, no it was not, it was about £17 pounds, I think. I will double check that, I do love this, I really really do, it gives, it doesn't keep my skin oil free all day though, but again neither does the Chanel one, so swings and roundabouts really. Um, the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturising Gel for Combination Oily to Oily Skin, it does actually look like there's a bit in there, but when I try and pump it out, it doesn't actually pump out. Very well, so I do have another one. I've actually repurchased this like last weekend or the weekend before when I went to York. Um, LJ bought me a new one. This is about £30, but we got it in a set when we went to York. We paid something like 62 50 for the whole set, so it's not actually too bad. I'm not sure how much the set's actually meant to be, but this bottle here lasted me from just before Christmas, like the week before Christmas 2013 till yesterday which was something like the 18th of August 2014 so it's lasted me about eight months, eight, nine months, eight months, eight months which I think £30 you can't get beat, it is the best found uh, foundation, this is the best moisturiser I've ever tried I've been using this constantly, not this one but I've been using like this moisturiser for about two years now, I love it and I love Clinique, I really do. And £30 for eight months is pretty amazing, if I do say so myself. So although it does seem a bit more expensive, it is worth it. And that is all for my beauty stuff. However, I do have two perfumes. This one I think you know about, my Honey by Marc Jacobs. I'm not sure where the lid went, apparently I just lose lids on perfumes. But this is the Honey by Marc Jacobs. I got this for my wedding off LJ like last 23rd of August, yay it's nearly our anniversary, but yeah, I got this for my anniversary and it ran out a couple of months ago and I have since repurchased the Pink Honey by Marc Jacobs and I will be buying this one again soon in the winter months because I love it so much for winter and I have also ran out of the Miss Dior perfume um, I got this a little while ago, I haven't repurchased it, but it is one of my favourite perfumes, so I probably will repurchase it at some point. Oh, I forgot to say, this one was £50 or £45, I think, and the pink by the pink honey by Marc Jacobs was £49, I think. I can't remember how much this one was, but 
probably will repurchase it at some point. And um, that is it for the video today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I can now throw these out, so LJ will be super happy about this. And by throw them out, I mean recycle whichever ones we need recycling and throw out the rest of them. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will speak to you again soon.